everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do the basket weave crochet stitch. Now, I have noticed that there are actually a couple of different ways to do a basket weave crochet stitch. I have seen it done with multiples of two stitches, both front and back. I've seen it with multiples of three stitches, both front and back, four stitches front and back. And I've even seen magazine cover blankets with even greater increments of the basket weave stitch, but the stitch is done the exact same way. You are just manipulating how many stitches you are doing. So in this particular basket weave crochet stitch tutorial, I'm not just gonna show you one way of doing it. I'm gonna explain a couple of different ways to do it and how to help you out if you would like to manipulate this pattern in any way. So I'm really gonna start with a regular size four weight worsted medium Aran size yarn, but you can use whatever yarn you want in this project. You're gonna need a non-textured yarn to really identify the pattern of the basket weave. If you are using a highly textured yarn, it might really take away from the actual pattern itself. You can give it a try, see if it works, but all in all, you're really gonna probably wanna stick with a non-textured yarn for this pattern. Use the crochet hook that is recommended with your yarn or even go a size up to make your stitches looser or more on the loose side. This stitch will <laughs> create a more tighter type pattern. So if you are using really tight stitches, then the blanket or washcloth or whatever project you are making with this stitch will be very rigid and firm. So if you want this pattern to be something more snuggly, cuddly, you're going to want a crochet hook that is on either the recommended size or a little bit bigger. Sound good? All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in to creating this basket weave crochet stitch. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun activities, and you're really not gonna wanna miss out. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into this. So starting with the tail long enough for us to weave in our ends at the end of the project, create a slip knot, attach our crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. When working the foundation row chain count, if you want to do your basket weave with two front posts, two back posts, then repeat on and off, you're going to have a multiple of four plus five, and then for your foundation row, you will then add plus two to get you to the next row. Okay, so I'll have this, at this on the bottom of the screen to really help you out with that. If you want to do a multiple of three front posts and three back posts and three front posts, three back posts, you are going to have a multiple of six plus five and then plus two for the foundation row. If you want to do a multiple of four, four front posts, four back posts, you will do a multiple of eight plus five, plus two for the foundation row. And I worked this pattern up in all three of these different stitch count scenarios and they worked up beautifully. So I can confidently mention those stitch count requirement multiples for you. If you wanna go even greater than that, four, six, or I mean five, six, seven, even greater for your patches, your squares. Play with it, see if that whole multiple count plus five plus two works for you. So I am going to do the three front posts, three back posts. So I'm gonna do the multiple of six plus five and then plus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna do a little swatch demonstration for you, not a full blanket or something. So I'm just gonna count this way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's my multiple of six and then plus five. One, two, three, four, five. And then for my foundation row chain count, plus two. One, two. Cool, we are on the same page. All right, so for row one of our basket weave pattern, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. All right, so looking at our V stitches, one, two, three, four. Double crochet right there. That skipped chain th three here does count as your first double crochet stitch. So that does count as a stitch. 
For row one, all you are doing is making one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across. We are really just setting up for this pattern, okay? So take a second, get across row one, making one double crochet stitch in each chain, and I will meet you at the end of row one, right here, to show you how we can get on to row two and really start this basket weave pattern. All right, last stitch here. Perfect, all right, for here on out, for the basket weave pattern, you will chain two every time you want to get onto the next row. We will turn our work. Great, that chain two does count as our first double crochet stitch and will actually take the space of that first stitch space, all right? The next stitch we will work up is three front post double crochet stitches. So working around this second stitch, we will yarn over, go between those stitches, go behind the stitch, come out the other side between stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one front post double crochet. two, three, great, three front post double crochet stitches. Next, we are going to make three back post double crochet stitches. So yarn over, go from the back between those stitches, push the stitch backwards, go through, let's try and make it so you can see, between the next two stitches, Yarn over, pull that yarn all the way through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's your first back post double crochet stitch. Let's do two more. There's one and two. Great, all right, so now we have three front post double crochets three back post double crochet stitches. What we're gonna do for the rest of row two is repeat that pattern. So next it will be three front post double crochets and then three back post double crochets. Three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets. Repeat all the way across for row two. I will meet you at the end of row two to show you how we close row two and then move on to row three and the pattern that we will work for row three. Three, perfect, you will be left with this one stitch left over. You're going to do a double crochet stitch in that third chain or the topmost chain, regular double crochet stitch there to close off row two and really help square that row, square that side. To move on to row three, we will chain two, one, two, turn our work. Again, that chain two counts as the very first double crochet stitch and will take the space of the first stitch space. The first stitch we're gonna make are three back post double crochets around the post stitches from the previous row. All right, so back post, double crochet, one, two, three, and then front post double crochet around the next three stitches. One, two, three, great. And repeat this pattern. A back post, you're gonna do a back post. A front post, you're gonna do a front post. Keep that pattern stretching, elongating up. So next I'll do three back posts and then three front posts. 
Repeat this pattern all the way across for row three. I will meet you at the end of row three to show you how we close row three and move on to row four. Three, great. We've reached the end of row three. You're going to double crochet on the top of that second chain to close off the row. Again, making sure that the sides are straight. So you're definitely gonna wanna end with that double crochet stitch. Chain two, one, two. Turn your work. Great. All right, so for the basket weave stitch in particular, you're going to do two rows the exact same, so making sure that two rows have the full elongated front posts or the full elongated back posts, and then you're gonna flip it, okay? This is where you can deviate. If you wanna do more of a rectangular basket weave and really elongate this, you would just continue doing the front posts one more, two more, three more rows lengthwise, back posts, making sure the same stitch shows up, on the same side, and that is how you could deviate this pattern. But if you're sticking with the general basket weave pattern, row four is where we're going to flip it, okay? So here, that chain two, first double crochet stitch counts as the very first stitch space. So the next stitches that we're making are three back post double crochet stitches, because that, that is the reverse stitch. So one, two, three. These are three back post double crochets, so I'm gonna reverse it and do three front post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and repeat all the way across. If you see that the stitch is a front post, you're gonna do a back post. And if you see that the stitch is a back post, you're gonna do a front post. I will meet you at the end of row four to show you how we close row four and move on to row five. Three, great, double crochet in the second chain. Perfect, and we are done with row four. See how you can start to see that basket weave stitch already? Really take play, it's really cool. All right, so chain two. One, two, turn your work. Okay, in order to make the pattern really pop, we need to do one more row of the exact same stitch to really make that front post or back post pronounced. So here I see three front posts. So I will make three front posts. One, two, three, and then three back posts, double crochets. One, two, three, three front post double crochets, one, two, three, and just repeat guys, three back posts and three front posts. Repeat the exact same pattern that was going on in the row before to elongate that pattern look. Okay, I will meet you at the end of row five to show you what we do next. One, two, three, and three. Last stitch, double crochet in the second chain to finish off row five. 
All right, let's take a second, look at the pattern. And here you can absolutely see that basket weave pattern now take form, take shape, and really be identifiable. It is so cool, so easy, it looks complicated, but it's definitely a showstopper for sure. For every even row here on out for the basket weave pattern, that's when you're going to switch up the pattern. So chain two to get to the next row, turning the work. So for row six, this is where I would change up the pattern. I would now do three front posts and three back posts, three front posts and three back posts to reverse that pattern, creating that basket weave. For every odd number row, you're going to just continue the pattern on from the previous row to elongate that pattern and make it more pronounced and easy to see. Okay? And that's it. That is the basket weave pattern. I hope it's simple enough. I hope you enjoyed it and that this tutorial made sense. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. I enjoy your comments. I really look at those comments and learn from them. So if you have any questions or if you have any tips or if you even have any project ideas, things that you have used for the basket weave or would like to use for the basket weave, go ahead and comment in the comment section below what things that you have used this stitch for and how it turned out. I would really enjoy that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you. <laughs> with my next tutorial. Bye guys.